Well, hello there, and thanks for tuning in. You might have worked with formulas in Microsoft Excel before, but you might be surprised to know you can do basic calculations and formulas in Word as well. Let me show you how. I have a Word document here, and I've set up a few different tables that we're going to use for examples. First thing to know is that you do need to be in a table to make this work, because Word needs to know the location of your data, and if it's in table cells, then you can easily refer to it in those locations. So I'm going to click into this field down here, or this cell, for the total. And we want to total up the units sold. With your mouse in that cell, come up to Layout, and then Formula over here on the far right. And Word is pretty good at trying to figure out what you're doing. It recognizes that there's numbers above this location, so it's filled in the above part. And that's actually perfect for what we need. So I'll just click on OK. And voila, there's our total. Now, what if one of your numbers changes? Let's say our sugar packets was only 300 instead of 400. When you click out of that cell, you might be thinking that the total should update, just like Excel does, but you'll see that it obviously didn't. So what you need to do if you need to update the total, the sum, whatever it is that you're working with, is right-click on it and then say Update Field, and you'll see it updated. All right, let me scroll down to our next example here. Here we're also going to use the summation, totaling up everything in the far right column. So I'll put my mouse in this cell here. Again, come up to the Layout tab and then Formula. This time it recognizes that there's data to the left, so it's filled that in. But you can also put right or below. You can type things in manually here if you want. But since it's doing the work for us, we're happy about that. Incidentally, you can change your number format here if you wanted something else, some basic options here. For what we're doing, though, this is all we need, the whole number. So I'll click OK. And there you go. Now, if you're used to working in Excel, you might know that you can select this and kind of drag things down to drag your formula down to the other cells. Or you might think that you can also just copy and paste. So I'm just doing a Control c Control v to paste into these other cells, but you'll see that the total doesn't update, and it's probably obvious that they shouldn't all be 46. So what's going on here? Well, to update these, you could do the same thing we just talked about, right-click on the total, and then say Update Field. And that works just fine, but if you have, say, hundreds of rows, that's going to be a little bit tedious. So one really handy shortcut to know about, select everything that you want to update, and then on your keyboard, hit the F9, or Function 9 key and it'll update. Pretty handy, huh? Okay, now you might have noticed when we were in here in the formulas, there was another dropdown for paste function. And here's a list of other functions that you can use in Word. Again, this is gonna be a subset of what you get in Excel. This is not a spreadsheet program after all, but you get some basic things like average, count, if, min, max, and so on. So let's go take a look at one of those using average. I'll scroll down to my next example here. Let's say in this lower row, we want to get the average of all the numbers above for the different months. So same steps here, come up to formula. And here, rather than sum, we're going to go with average. Now you might be tempted to select average from down here. And this is basically just going to tack that on to the end of whatever you had up there. So not quite what we want. But if you had nothing in here except the equal sign, that would work just fine. So average, and then we're going to type in above here, and click OK. There you go. So to get this to the other cells, again, I'm going to copy and paste. You can also paste into multiple cells if you select the four cells and then do your paste, your Control V from what you had on your clipboard, and speed things up a little bit there. To update these, what did we do? Select all of the cells that you want to update, and then hit F9, Function 9, on your keyboard. Depending on your keyboard, you might actually need to hit the Function key and then hit F9. It all depends on your computer. But with that, everything gets updated. All right, one more example, scrolling down. Here we're going to work with specific cells. Again, coming from the world of Excel, you might know about columns A, B, C, D, and then the rows have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and to refer to these cells by the column and then the row. In other words, cell A1, cell B3, let's say. And the same works here in Word when you're doing your formulas. I'll put my mouse here, then coming up to Layout again. 
over to Formula. Here I'll get rid of what it gives me by default. Let's say that we want this to be A1, so that's going to be the 5, plus B1, which is 8. So this should give us a total of 13. I'll hit OK. And of course it worked. You can also use the other operators here, so if you wanted to subtract these, just use the hyphen or the minus sign. That should give us a negative 3. You can do multiplication and division as well. So that will be with the asterisk or the star. 5 times 8 should be 40. And then finally, division also works, and this will be with the backslash. Okay, and that's it. Those are the basics of working with formulas in a Word document. If you enjoyed this content, check out the other videos in my Microsoft Word playlist, and be sure to hit subscribe so you get notified of new uploads.